Okay, in this section we're going to talk about factoring multi-step trinomials. Here's the biggest thing that you need to realize for factoring multi-step trinomials. Factoring multi-step trinomials is exactly the same as factoring two CFs and then factoring trinomials like normal. So let's look at an example. So when we look at this example, we can see that when I look across, every number has been multiplied by 5. So my very first step is I'm going to take out a 5. Now that I've taken out a 5, I'm going to look and go, okay, this would be v squared, this would be negative 6v, and this would be 8. Now what I need to do is I need to forget about the 5 for a minute. So the 5 doesn't matter anymore. I'm going to look at this inside portion. And when I look at this inside portion, I go, oh, okay, what can multiply together to give me 8 and add together to give me negative 6? Well, the combos that multiply together to give me 8 are 4 and 2 and 8 and 1. Well, 4 plus 2 would give me 8. Or 4 times 2 would give me 8, and 4 plus 2 would give me 6. So that's the right combo, but this is a negative 6. So since this is negative, I need to make both of these things negative, because a negative 4 and a negative 2 would make a negative 6, and now I'm good. So I get v minus 4, and then v minus 2. And that would be my final answer. The biggest thing that you need to keep track of is first you're going to see what can divide like what can multiply by all the numbers. Then you'll have this inside portion that you'll try to simplify further. Let's do another example. Okay, again, my first step is going to figure out what they multiplied everything by, which in this case it's 3. So I'm going to take out my 3. That's going to leave me with an x squared, a 3x, and a 2. Now I'm going to have to do the same thing I did before and think about what can break up this inside portion. Well, what can break up this inside portion is what multiplies together to give me this, but adds together to give me this. Well, that would be the only factors of 2 are 2 and 1. So it has to be 2 times 1, which 2 plus 1 would give me 3. So that works out. And that would be my final answer. The biggest thing that will help most uh, people with this is the idea that you want to fact, like it's a two-step problem. You want to factor out the GCF, and then after you factor out the GCF, you want to try to solve that. We can do this with another type of problem. We can do this with factoring binomials. Let's say I'm given a problem like this. Again, the first step I always want to do is figure out what they multiplied everything by. In this case, it's 7. So that would give me x squared minus 9. Now, if I have a binomial, that means it's missing its middle term, or its middle term is 0. So I have to think about what can multiply together to give me 9 and add together to give me 0. Well, in that case, I just have to find the multiples of negative 9, which are 3 and negative 3, and 9 and negative 1. Well, 9 plus negative 1 is not going to work because that would give me 8, so that goes away. But 3 plus negative 3 gives me 0. Perfect. That's what I was trying to get. So this would be 7x minus 3x plus 3. So again, our first step for all of our equations is to make sure that we divide out the front number. Let's do one more binomial example. Okay, so in this example, I'm going to look and see what will divide this across. And it's 8 and 32, so I'm going to take out um, I'm going to take out an 8. That give me x squared minus 4. Then once I have that, again, I'm going to do the same thing I've done before. I've got to think about what multiplies together to give me negative 4, but it will add together to give me 0. So negative 4 is made up of 2 and negative 2. Well, that already works because that multiplies together to give me negative 4, but adds together to give me 0. So this is what we would have. And that would be my final answer. Try some of these, prob these multi-step problems. And remember, you, the first thing you need to do is try to factor out the front number. And then after you've done that, 
you can factor this thing a little bit further.